Hey, welcome to the crux. In this video, we're going to talk about something that most biology classes forget to teach, such as the mistakes in the development of the genetic code. One such code is the diamond code, and by the end of this video, you will have a fair knowledge of the diamond code and who discovered it. As we dive into this video, make sure to subscribe so that you get updates on biology topics that you might not learn in your class. In our previous video, we discussed why might a triplet base code suffice as a genetic code, but we didn't discuss how might the information be transferred from the DNA to the protein. Since this video is a historical perspective on the genetic code, one of the earliest theory on the utility of the triplet code came from George Gamow. George Gamow was a Russian physicist who was also interested in the coding potential of the DNA, and he was also a member of the RNA type club, and his three-letter code was the alanine. If you want to know more about the RNA type club, please see the link in the description. Soon after the discovery of the structure of the DNA, George Gamow postulated the diamond code, which is an overlapping code to explain the transfer of information from the DNA to the protein. Now, note that the idea of RNA being as an intermediate between DNA and protein as we know it in the central dogma today was not known in 1954 when he published this paper. Let's discuss the diamond code in more detail. So the structure of DNA was found to be the double helix, and George noticed the space between the base pairs and postulated that these holes, as he called them, might be the place for amino acids to fit. To get a picture in more detail, let's flip our DNA 90 degrees to the right. Now, if we carefully look at the structure of base pair along the DNA, we find that these spaces have holes. As you may have already noticed, that these holes are rhombus-shaped, almost like a diamond. Now, this visualization is still too complex. To make this intuitive and simple, let's picture the DNA in two dimension. So the first diamond in this schematic is formed by the TGA, and that codes for a specific amino acid. Then because this is an overlapping code, the most immediate diamond is formed by two overlapping plus one new base. So that is GAG codon, which specifies another amino acid. And then finally, AGC specifies the last amino acid. George Gamow represented these codes in form of rhombus shapes, or diamonds as he saw them. So the first amino acid is specified by TGA, but in full disclosure, it is represented as this diamond, where the G and C on the horizontal axes are the base pairs, and the bases on the vertical axes are non-base pairs. So now we know how our three amino acids shown here can be written in the diamond code. In the next video, we will learn more about the diamond code and discuss how the 64 codons specify 20 amino acids. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like, comment, and share it with your friends, and subscribe for more knowledge.